In this video, I'll show you how to set up a WooCommerce role-based shipping method in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on my demo site and in this tutorial, I'm gonna hide my PayPal gateway to our wholesale customers. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hide the direct bank transfer, check payments and cash and delivery to our retail customers. Okay, and to do this, I'll be using the WooSuite conditional shipping and payments plugin to restrict our payment method. Okay, so just head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download the conditional shipping and payments plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite conditional payments and shipping plugin, the first step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install and activate that plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and activate your license key. And then once you've done so, we'll navigate to this add-on section. And then from here, we'll just go ahead and toggle our payments and shipping plugin on. Okay, so we just scroll down and then we'll go ahead and find this dynamic shipping and payments plugin here. Since I've already got it installed and activated, in your case, you'll just go ahead and click install. Once it's installed, you'll go ahead and toggle it to on. So currently like this quick view plugins switched off, you'll just switch this one on. Okay, and then we'll just click manage to create our first rule. I should mention that throughout this tutorial, I'm assuming that you've already got your um, user roles already set up and configured onto your site. If you haven't done so, I'll leave a link in the description below to a video showing you how to add a new user role to your site. Okay, so I'm just gonna navigate to payment gateways and I've already got a rule set up here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a new rule. Okay, and I'm just gonna give it a short description. This is just for internal purposes. So I'm gonna name this one similar to this one. So I'm gonna say disable um, wholesale payments for retail customers. Okay, and then here we'll go ahead and select the payment methods in which we want to exclude to our retail customers. So in the intro, we said we'll exclude direct bank transfer, the check payment and the cash and delivery to our retail customers. Okay, and then here we'll just go ahead and add a condition. So optionally, I don't recommend this, but if you wanted, you could go ahead and um, inform users that these particular payment methods are being restricted to them. And then you can go ahead and explain the reason. I would just leave it as blank. We will just go ahead and select our first condition. So we can choose from a few different conditions, but in our case and in this video, we'll go ahead and select customer role. And then the condition reads customer role is, then we'll just select customer okay because this is our default retail customer role and then we can just go ahead and save changes and that's it for restricting um, our payment methods to our retail customers okay so now you'd go ahead and create an additional restriction rule to restrict the retail payment methods to your wholesale customers since i've already got one enabled here i'm just going to go ahead and edit this rule Okay, so this rule, again, short description, disable retail payments for wholesale customers. Okay, and then here we just select the payment method in which we want to exclude. So in this case, it would make sense to exclude um, PayPal. So it will prevent our wholesale customers from being able to check out with PayPal. So we'll just go ahead and exclude PayPal from our wholesale customers. And then similar to what we did below, we'll go ahead and select the condition. I've already done it here. We'll select user role, well, customer role, okay? It's the same as user role. And then we'll say is um, wholesale customer. So here you just select the particular customer role, okay? So I'm gonna select distributor as well. So you can add multiple roles and conditions to a particular role. So I'll go ahead and save changes. And then we can go ahead and test out these roles. Okay, so that's saved fine. So now I'm just gonna to navigate to users, all users. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in as a wholesale customer. So I'm gonna scroll down to one of our wholesale customer here. For example, this one, I'm just gonna to switch to this wholesale customer. So I've got a separate plugin installed, which allows me to quickly switch between different customers, which are on our site. Okay, so if you don't see that option in your WordPress dashboard, it's absolutely fine. You can just install that user switch plugin. I'll leave it in the description as well, just in case you wanna go ahead and install that plugin to test out your various different rules. So I'm going to navigate to our shop page. Okay, so I'm just going to add this product to our basket. I believe there's a um, minimum requirement of 10 items for this particular product. That's why it's added 10 to my basket. So let's proceed to checkout and let's see what payment options we've got. 
So if you remember, we've logged in as a wholesale customer and now we'll be able to select from only um, direct bank transfer, um, check payments and cash and delivery. So our restriction rule is working exactly as it should. So let's go ahead and test this on a as a retail customer. Okay, so now I'm viewing the website as a retail customer. And just like before, I'm just gonna add this product to our basket. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go through the checkout process. So we'll go ahead and click proceed to checkout. Okay, so now we're on our checkout page and it appears our rule is not working as it should. Well, not exactly, we specified our rule to restrict these payment methods so direct bank transfer check and cash and delivery payment method to our um, retail customers right so we selected a user role as customer okay which is a default WooCommerce customer role so the issue is um, how does the system know um, what sort of customer I am so it's it's not possible to tell until I've actually logged in. So we need to do one extra step to account for these situations. So I'm just gonna minimize this. And then when we navigate back here to our shipping and payments plugin, I'm gonna edit this um, option here where we're disabling our wholesale payment methods to retail customers. And then where it says customer role here, I'm gonna go ahead and select guest users. Okay, so guest users um, are users which are logged out of your site. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save changes. And now when we visit our checkout page again as a um, guest user, we won't be able to see our wholesale payment method. And let's refresh this page. And now the only payment method which we have is this PayPal option here. I haven't configured this PayPal option um, correctly, so I probably won't be able to check out with it. But as you can see, our direct bank transfer and check payments are hidden as it should be. And that's how you set up a WooCommerce role-based shipping method in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.